What's up everybody, Gully Novak here and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. I'm actually going to be reviewing a new magic product that's out by one of my favorite creators in magic, Ryan Schlutz. The product is an app called Locked and Loaded. It is essentially a prediction system that allows you to predict something on the lock screen of your phone. Before I get into talking about it, check out a short performance video. Okay, so Lucky, before we get started, I just want to make it clear, we didn't set anything up, you have no idea what's about to happen. No idea. Okay, awesome. So, what I have here are ESP cards. Now, these are traditionally used to test if people can read minds, but today we're going to do something a little bit differently, and we're going to use them to show how easily we're influenced. You see, like, every day we're constantly being influenced by things around us, there's always things that are suggesting things to us and leading us to make certain decisions without us even realizing. Yeah. So, in a moment, I'm going to get you to choose one. If you're not okay. familiar with them, we have plus, square, wavy lines, circle, and a star. So I'm going to get you to choose one, but I'm going to try influence you to pick the one that I want you to pick with something as simple as a photo, right? So on my lock screen here, I have a photo, yeah. right? And I just want you to really look at it, observe it, take it in. We'll get back to it in a moment. Now, do you feel influenced by that at all? Or not? Yeah. Yet. A little bit? I mean, maybe at first. Okay. All right. Well, so I don't want you to think they're in any specific order. <laughs> so the way we're going to do it is this. I'm going to just lay them out. And I want you to turn over any four except for one. So the one you don't turn over is the one you're going to choose. So you don't have to go in a specific order. You can go back and forth. Just turn over any four cards face down. So leaving one face up. That's interesting. That felt like a free choice, right? 100%. Yeah. But you see, that's actually the one I wanted you to pick. Right. You see, if you look at the photo on my phone, it might actually look a little bit different now that you know what to look for. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much. So first off, I want to say that I'm not somebody who does a lot of app magic but I do feel like this is an app that I'm genuinely going to use and I'm excited to use because it doesn't feel very technical, which I love. It's also so fast and so simple to input the prediction and I think the idea of just picking up your phone and showing the lock screen is something that feels very, very natural. So I'm not gonna go into the exact workings of the app, but I feel like a lot of people guess that voice recognition is used. That is 100% not the case. There is no voice recognition used within the app. To give you a quick rundown, you can have up to 52 inputs, meaning you could predict any playing card on the lock screen of your phone, someone's favorite holiday destination, favorite sport team, or whatever. Now what's cool is you can actually save multiple albums within the app. So you could have an album just of playing cards, an album of destinations, an album of sport teams. So if one day you want to do one presentation, the next day you want to do another, you have that freedom. You don't have to just stick to one. The app lets you do multiple different presentations, which is very cool. Now, I will say that if you're wanting to predict a playing card, Ryan has come up with a very simple, clean, and easy system that allows you to predict any playing card on the lock screen of your phone with very minimal input. It also takes very little memorization. There's barely anything to remember. You could remember it in less than five minutes. But if you do want a separate category, for example, destinations, maybe you want to have 52 different cities, it is going to take a bit more memorizing of how to input each of them. There are a little bit of ways to get around it depending on your presentation. You could find other ways to save you from memorizing 52 different inputs, but overall it probably will take some more memorizing compared to just predicting the playing cards because the app is sort of designed in a way that it makes it easiest to predict playing cards. All that being said, what's great about this app is that you can do so many impressive routines with way less than 52 inputs. So don't feel like you need to remember 52 different things to have an impressive routine. The routine I did earlier only had like five outs and I still think it's a pretty cool routine. So don't feel pressured that you need to remember multiple albums of 52 different inputs. It's definitely not the case. 
The next thing that I think is worth mentioning about this app is that after you purchase it, there is a Facebook group for locked and loaded users to pretty much just share ideas and share routines that people are doing and also get inspiration for your own routines. It's actually a really fun place to see what people are coming up with and people are coming up with some really, really clever stuff. So it's a fun space to kind of see what other people are doing. It's actually also where I got the photos that I used in my performance earlier. Those photos were created by Charlie Hewish, I believe. So a big shout out to him and thank you for letting me use them. Another thing is that Ryan is very active within the group. So if you have any questions or need any help, he's always there to answer your questions or get any suggestions as well. I do really think that when you buy a product of Ryan's, you are buying into some of the best customer service in Magic. I really feel that his number one priority is to really just make sure you're 100% satisfied with the product and he goes above and beyond to make sure of that. So that's very cool as well. A couple things to note. First is I don't believe this app is available on Android. Maybe they're working on it. I'm not so sure. I'm sure Ryan will watch this though and maybe he can comment down below if it's coming out on Android, but I'm not sure if it's available just yet, but it is available on iPhone. I also just want to mention that the app is very smooth and very reliable. I think for me, whenever I use technology integrated into Magic, the number one thing is that I want it to be reliable and this certainly is. It's very smooth. I haven't had any problems with it. They also just released an update recently to make it even smoother. So props to them. It's done so well and I haven't had any issues, which is a major plus, something that's very important to me whenever I'm using an app. I honestly think that wraps up the review. I don't want to drag this on for longer than it needs to go. I love the app. I think the method is so clever and easy and I think the input system is so simple and natural. You literally pick up your phone, you tap the screen and the prediction is there. It couldn't be simpler than that. So if you want to get the app, I will link it down in the description below and I highly recommend you do. Also, I will link Ryan's social media and his website down in the description below because he has a bunch of other products. I'm a huge fan of his work, so I highly recommend you check out anything he's released. Finally, if you did enjoy this review, let me know in the comments below. I'm considering doing more of these. I also kind of am thinking maybe I should come up with a name for this review kind of segment. So if you have an idea for a name, comment that down below as well. Please give this video a like if you got something out of it. That's all I ask and I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all very soon. Thanks.